Are saturated fats really that bad or is it a load of nonsense? You know, honestly, right now with ketosis being as popular as it is, a lot of people are talking about saturated fats. People are saying that saturated fats are better when you're in ketosis. Well, I wanna clear a lot of that up and I also wanna clear up the whole saturated fat thing in general. Okay, let me back up and tell you a little bit of history into why we were really lied to a lot when it came to saturated fats. See, it all started with one guy. His name was Ansel Keys and this guy was Honestly, kind of a bad man in my perspective, simply because what Ansel Keys did is he leveraged his authority, he leveraged his credibility and altered studies to make it look like saturated fats were really, really bad. See, back in the 1950s, when Ansel Keys was looking at saturated fats, he conducted a study, published a paper, that said that saturated fats had a direct correlation with a high risk of heart disease. And he looked at a total of 22 countries. But the thing is, he only published results from six countries those six countries that actually had results in his favor with what he was trying to do. And when we actually factored in the other 16 countries and factored in all 22, by and large, it was actually found that high intakes of saturated fat actually had lower risks of heart disease. Pretty amazing right then and there. Just shows how someone with some authority can really skew things for the entire world and mess things up. So I digress, let's talk a little bit about how saturated fats work in your body for a minute and what they are. All that saturated fats are, are carbon atoms that have hydrogens saturating that atom. That's what makes it saturated. Now, if you think of bacon grease, it's a perfect example. Okay, bacon grease is solid at room temperature and then it can be heated and it never denatures. So it can heat to a very high temperature without becoming toxic, even like some oils can. So saturated fats aren't a bad thing. In fact, there was one study that's a meta study, 2010 recent study that took 21 studies collectively and made one giant study and found that looking at 348,000 people that by and large, if they had more saturated fat intake, they did not have an increased risk of heart disease. And that's a recent science right then and there. And a lot of it comes down to the fact that saturated fats are required by our body for so many things. All right, we have to factor in that half of our cell membrane structure is made up of saturated fats. If you don't have saturated fats, you can't create cells. You can't create what you need for life. Then 60% of our brain is made of fat and half of that fat is saturated fat, which might explain why people in ketosis that are generally consuming more saturated fats end up feeling like they recover better mentally and they have better memory, probably because their brain cells are functioning a little bit better, I hypothesize at least. But to add insult to injury, saturated fat contains a bunch of vitamin D, a bunch of vitamin K, and a bunch of vitamin A, all things we need to regulate our metabolism and end up feeling our best in the first place. But let's link it all to ketosis here for a minute. Okay, I've been wrapping around talking about what exactly saturated fats are in the history and I've been kind of venting. But when we're in ketosis, we're utilizing fats as a source of fuel. You see, and the thing is a lot of people think that fats will make you fat. And when you think about it, Okay, it kind of makes sense because fats have more calories. You would think in theory, if you consume more fats, you're going to gain fat. But it's a lot harder to overeat on fats simply because they're so satiating, they keep you full. Thing is, when fats are in the presence of extra carbohydrates, the body doesn't like to use fats for energy. But when the body is deprived of carbohydrates, then the body thrives on utilizing those fats. But what about saturated fats? Are they a better energy source or are they not? Well, it's not so much that. I think what happens in ketosis is people are naturally consuming more saturated fats than they ordinarily would because their main fuel source is fats. So they start feeling better and they start thinking they need more saturated, when in reality, they're just having more saturated than they would if they weren't in ketosis. I truly think the benefits of ketosis and the benefits of saturated fat in ketosis come from the liver, the brain, and the immune system. I'm gonna start with the liver, okay? You see, the liver, when it has enough saturated fat, it encourages the liver cells to dump their excess fat. That means it could be the first step in helping out a fatty liver, but also the first step in truly reducing the belly fat, which is why people feel like they reduce belly fat when they're in ketosis, they're getting enough saturated fat. Then we talk about the brain. Okay, remember how the brain is comprised of over 60% fat and half of that being saturated fat, that allows the brain to develop more. But it's not just the brain, it's the nervous system. See, our nerves are encapsulated with something called the myelin sheath, and that is made up predominantly of saturated fats. So if we don't have that myelin sheath building up, our brain can't send signals to our body well. 
which is why we might feel like we have tighter motor function when we're in ketosis. Then lastly, our immune system. Saturated fats contain lauric acid. Okay, we're talking about MCTs, like from coconut oil. I don't care if you are vegan, vegetarian, or a meat eater. We can still get saturated fats and it can still help our immune system. That lauric acid is extremely antimicrobial and extremely antibacterial and helps us ward off disease. It may be why people that are in ketosis say that they feel like they don't get sick as often. It might not be the act of being in ketosis, maybe it's just the fact that you're actually consuming the saturated fats that you normally would stay away from. So what I essentially hypothesize from all of my research with this is really saying that it's not so much ketosis and saturated fats. Saturated fats are important in general. We just need more of them and get more of them when we're in ketosis because they're our fuel source. But whether you're in ketosis or not, it's important that you get those saturated fats and stop being paralyzed by what Ansel Keys did back in the 1950s with his viral little paper that seemed to change the world. As always, keep it locked in here and make sure you hit that like button. And if you got something out of this video, please share it. But please also make sure you subscribe. I've got tons of playlists surrounding ketosis and everything that you need to get in great shape and feel your best. I will see you in my next video.